<laughs> it like literally moves my whole way. <laughs> Stupid. Take it off though. Oh, look at her. <laughs> look at her. Hey, hey, hey! How are you guys doing? It's your girl Candy and welcome back to my channel. Today, as you could tell, this is a very bright, bold, but super simple look. If you're my candy babes, thank you so much for coming back, you guys. Appreciate your love and support. If you're new, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope you like my personality. But um, today, I actually um, had asked you guys on Instagram if I should recreate this look from Sandra Deluxe, and I will make sure to post her information right, or at least the photo or the video I was talking about in reference. You guys said at 100%, go ahead and go for it because it's kind of much your jam of color. And I love Sandra. She is amazing. I don't know how she does a lot of her routines with her hands, and I'm not that great when it comes to that. Bold yellow, then a neon green which kind of matches well with my theme on this week Instagram is yellow so I was like I might as well make it yellow I might as well just utilize this video and try to create something really great I did only use two palettes in this creation and I did do it really simple and oh if you follow me on my Instagram you know where I got this lippy I'm really loving it. I'm kind of really glad I got this and I got it really affordable because I was supposed to get my makeup done there for a Smashbox event, but then I already had my makeup done and I was like, um, not really for to someone whipping off my makeup and then y'all trying to recreate this. I didn't really know it was like that. I thought it was just like them teaching us, but I didn't know they wanted us to come barefaced. Anywho, doesn't matter to your hair there. I got that lipstick and it's as you can see, it's like a perfect nude. Like, this is such a cute-ass nude. So anyway, if you would like to see how I created this simple but bold look, please keep watching. Um, again, I'll make sure to link down Sandra Deluxe's video so you can see that for reference. And yeah, let's just go ahead and jump into this thing, guys. hey 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 guys let's do this damn thing you know the jam my brows are already done and i'm just gonna go ahead and apply concealer to my crease area uh, we're gonna first work in here with the bronzer this is from anastasia and we're gonna go ahead and place this on the crease and blend that outwards and as you can see, Sandra is doing the exact same thing as well as grabbing the white concealer and applying it with a small brush. I'm using my Luxie small shader brush in the shader number 245. Um, unfortunately, my brush broke right after this whole thing, which is super sad. I love that small brush. Um, but anyway, I'm just going to go ahead and apply the concealer on my lid just as Sandra is. And then we're going to go ahead and apply the color. This is the Take Me Back to Brazil. You already know this too. We're going to go ahead and grab this shade here. And like Sandra, I'm going to apply this with a brush. And it is not working for me as you can see. So... I took off and we're going to restart and we're going to use what I normally do, which is the concealer. So we're going to go ahead and recreate my cut crease and make it a little bit more dramatic because she made hers curved in a little bit more. So we're going to go ahead and redefine that crease. And now to apply the yellow, we're going to hop on to the... Juvia's Palace. This is their Zulu palette. We're going to take this gorgeous yellow shade and we're just going to pack that on. And then I did clean the small shader brush and I am going to use that to really get close to the line to really make that yellow pop. So now we're going to hop on to the shimmer portion of the tutorial. We're going to use the Kat Von D 10th Anniversary palette. And we're going to take this gold shade and we're going to press that on just like Sandra is. And off camera. 
I went ahead and finished my face and applied my highlights and now let's go ahead and get back into this eye tutorial we're gonna go ahead and use the bad girl bang mascara as well as my favorite lashes from goddess collection this is a this is their bast lash and we're just gonna go ahead and apply the mascara and both the eyelash and we're going to remove the setting powder from my nose oh this is milani strobe highlighter in the shade glowing now for the final step, which is the lips, we're using my favorite new lip liner. This is MAC Cosmetic in the shade Chestnut. And we're going to apply that over and make sure really to get the outer corners to um, there's no discoloration around my lips. Now to give my lips a full nude look, um, Sandra did use a more gloss, but for me, I want to go ahead and use a more nude lip. So we're going to be using the Smashbox Always On Lipstick in the shade Psychic Chick. And we're just going to go ahead and blend those two together with my finger. And that is literally the whole entire look, you guys. Um, yeah, let's just go ahead and back to the video. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, this is the end of the tutorial. Uh, I hope you don't judge me on the whole debacle in the beginning, but we saved this bad boy to create this lovely, bold, I'm a canary yellow mother kind of makeup look. <laughs> I'm realizing a lot that I don't have a lot of gold or even a lot of yellow products, which tells me I really need to invest in more than that. But the Juvia's Palace, like this sucker came to play. Like it definitely utilized the yellow for me and I just really appreciate it because there was no other yellow that I had and that's kind of also the reason why I bought this palette because it has bold colors. Anywho guys, I'm going to stop rambling on. It's super quick tutorial. I just hope you guys like it. Um, let me know if you like me wearing the wig or not. I just like wearing it because my head warm. Um, yeah. If you did like this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. And if you did like it so much, please share it. I would love for you to share my creativity with other people that you would think would love it. So share the love. I don't know.